almost every game you play is going to have sound and music. Without it, games just seem unpolished. WAV files and MIDI files are both supported by Allegro without installing any extra libraries. Generally, you want to use MIDI for music and WAVs for sound effects, as WAV files are uncompressed and take up a ton of space. If possible, you might try to look into a library that loads AUG files, as those compress about as well as MP3s, and they're under a more lenient license. And no, you can't use that song in your game. If you're like me, you have Thriller going through your head from hearing it near constantly for the past few days. Stick to original and public domain. With Pick and Sticks, we can plan to have one background song and probably one sound effect for when you pick up a stick. You could add more sound files, like a sound that plays when the character walks, or I guess you could make the game play random sounds all the time. Anyway. In Allegro, sounds are samples and midis are just called midis. Creating either is similar to creating a bitmap. Sample sound name or midi midi name. There's only one parameter in the load sample and load midi functions and that's the file name. For example, sample happy sound equals load sample ding dot wave. MIDI stick music equals load MIDI waffles dot mid. Waffles dot mid? How much Mountain Dew was I on when I wrote this script? To play a sample, use the play sample function. The parameters here are the sample file, the volume, which ranges from 0 to 255, the sound pan, with 0 being the left speaker, 255 being the right speaker, and 128 being in the middle. Frequency, which is the playback rate, with 1000 being the normal speed, 500 being half the speed, and 2000 being double. And then whether it will loop or not, which is just a boolean. For MIDI files, we use the play MIDI function, with the MIDI file as the first parameter, and whether it loops or not as the second parameter. If you want to stop a sample that's playing, use the stop sample function. The only parameter here is the name of your sample. For MIDI, well, I don't see a stop function in the quick reference, so I guess turn the MIDI sound down when you don't want it anymore? To set the volume of each, use the set volume function. The first parameter is the sample volume, and the second one is the MIDI volume. Now, for both of these, you'll want to destroy them when you're done with them. So destroy a sample and destroy MIDI, both with the parameters of the sample or MIDI you're using. It's pretty similar to bitmaps. Alright, the next video is going to cover outputting text. Both of these are really short videos, but I prefer to keep them that way. This way, they're easier to find for reference, and also because some of the SDL for the same topics is more complicated. So really those need their own videos. Anyway, as a note, I'm kinda young, so I really only know Jackson's music through Weird Al and Alien Ant Farm, but it's pretty sad to hear when anyone dies. Everyone else, take care, and I'll see you next time.